Well, bittersweet. Um, 1994 was supposed to be my first ever World Cup. I was accredited. I was young, very young then. And um, I was looking forward to the uh, World Cup. I mean, I, I was close to most of the, the Nigerian players. I uh, went to all the qualifiers then and all. All of a sudden at the uh, embassy in US, the lady said, um, is this your true age? I said, yes. She said, we're sorry, we're going to have to deny you this visa. I laughed because uh, you know, I was uh, head of sports for fame then. I had all the big men there. We tried everything, including the former minister, Shiva Kinele. We tried everything. They said, no, we are not giving you. Uh, it, was a, it was a shock. I now went back home. I was um, like, what can I do? Because I was going crazy. I was not going to be at the World Cup and it was too painful. Uh, to cut a long story short, I started recording every game. And today, uh, it's very interesting, it, it was a massive advantage then, that they denied me then because what I now started doing was recording every football game and I went into the past too. And today, in Africa, I don't think anybody has a kind of archive visual sports library that I do have. Uh, but my best World Cup, I must say, was um, 2014 in Brazil. I love Brazilian football, I love everything about Pele, Zico, Socrates, everything. Uh, so going through their country, uh, so such a big place and all, the train, everything, the color was, is like a, it was like a dream. You know, meeting the players was not even as interesting as uh, dealing with the fans. And uh, you share their pains when they lost and also, but Brazil was something else. I can't describe it. Uh, it's, it's like a fairy tale. You know, I, I watch recordings back now and like, wow, I mean, it was a carnival. Unfortunately, they lost. But that walk off moment for me uh, is the one I can never forget. I'm sure you remember the one I'm going to start with, Nigeria versus Italy. Four minutes to go. Come on, four minutes to go. We played with Baggio. It's just unbelievable. How can that happen to us? And uh, after that, the penalty uh, again at the end of it was just a tragedy. I mean, we had a team. Okocha was enjoying himself in the middle of the park. I mean, you know, nobody could touch him. All of a sudden, we had to go out of the World Cup because of our own... Uh, we didn't understand what the World Cup was, in spite of all the uh, uh, talent that we do uh, from Rufai and Goa, you know. Uh, you could see Egoavon, how strong he is. Uh, you, we could go on and on and on. Rashidi goal, first ever in the FIFA World Cup for Nigeria. I can never forget that. Rashidi shaking the net. I'm looking at it now. Rashidi shaking the net. And it has to be Rashidi because he's the one who took us to the World Cup with his goal. So uh, that for me was a very, very positive uh, part of it. And look at that uh, Amokachi's goal again. Took on everybody. Come on. At the end of the day, uh, Munike was in that team. Are we going to have that kind of team again? I'm not sure it's going to, it's going to be possible in a very long time. 94 was just unbelievable apart from letting uh, Italy spoil the party. We've seen it over and over again. Some of these players have played at the World Cup. I told you about Ahmed Musa. Now look at the, uh, the uh, when we lost to Argentina. Ahmed was scoring. Uh, Messi was scoring. He is that good. He's good. He's changed club. Most of them are moving, which is nice, uh, so that you are you are fit before the World Cup. And again, don't forget, it's their life now. They they should realize, and this is very important. They should realize that you know what, uh, your performance uh, performance at the World Cup will help you at your club. Uh, a lot of clubs in Europe now, uh, you have to have a certain percentage of national team ca caps. You know, you have, to, you have to have played some number of matches. So, uh, the better you are at the World Cup, some of them are going to play all the matches. We hope we play six games, <laughs> get to the final and miraculously shock the world. I don't know. Uh, but for them, World Cup will be a lifesaver for them, for their club. It's not easy in Europe uh, anymore now to be an African player and you are not really playing for a big club scoring or in defense you are really playing very well. So it's going to be a very um, big opportunity for anybody who wants to take it among them. It's really going to be very vital.